this build we're packaging up this potting bench and shipping it out tomorrow so this is we're starting right here we have to start with the platform right here and i'm going to start cutting this to the shape i need right now That's our size, 32 by 84. We are gonna cut these two by twos and we're gonna run one, we're gonna run them in here like this. And that's gonna connect the pallets. So let me cut these. I bought this Hitachi air compressor and this gun, this framing gun back in 2001, I think for like 500 bucks. And this compressor, it's little, it struggles, but it does a great job. I have not changed the oil ever. I think I've checked the oil a couple times in 20, what, four years. modifying this pallet I ripped this down to three and a quarter to fit it in here now I just need to flip this over nail off the other side ah. all right let me show you where I'm at so I have the base restructured and put back together I rebuilt the ends just so the forks can't get in there so we're gonna put these we're gonna put these two by fours, these three two by fours right here, use these as skids and it'll raise it off the ground easily so the forks get, get in here. Right now there's only about an inch and a half clearance. We're gonna go for about two and a half, three inches. Now we're gonna take these two pieces of five millimeter plywood on top of the base. cut four holes for the casters it helps me hide the casters and protect them and also stabilizes the potting bench on this platform there. good we're gonna roll it this way Now we can start putting the walls on. I have some nails down there at the bottom while I get it screwed on. Drywall screw setter for drywall, but it works good for drywall screws even going into this. The corners set and I just fill in the middle about every eight inches. This is how we're gonna make the walls. So we have the bottom plate and these are gonna be the corners. These are all connected. This is gonna be super strong. I have this one secured and watch this. I'll tighten this up. It makes it super strong right there. Now we're going to take these skins right here. Scribe it right here like this. Before you put the lid on, just check for your clearance. I have about three inches of clearance on the front. A little bit more on the side for the dowels over there. I have a couple inches in the back. I made this box as small as I can make it and still have clearance. See this? Once the lid is on, it's going to be even stronger. This is easier than measuring it. We'll cut that. That'll be the lid.
know how this is going to work out, but I'm going to try it. Got them all tied together. Ha <laughs> ha. 